Hey my beautiful Cancer peeps, what's going on everybody? It's Ant from Cancer Moon's Tarot and I'm coming at you guys with your August 2023 tarot reading. How are you? I hope all is well. I just want to mention before we start, if you're interested in personal readings, products, and so much more, feel free to check out my website, CancerMoonsTarot.com. That's going to be the first link in the description below. There should be some kind of pop-up over here. If you guys want to participate in the remainder of the summer sale, definitely feel free to. But Cancer, uh, we have the three big topics here of what it is you're going to focus on or the three big things to focus on coming into August taking a look here at the first card coming in here for you it says creative wonderment all right with this card it says follow your passion so definitely the time here to focus more on the key of what is passion for you what do you find passionate what do you enjoy versus i'm kind of hearing almost in a way cancer it might sound crazy <laughs> it might sound crazy and it might seem like everything within you is telling you to go to the practical choice but this is the time to follow your passion if you continue to do so that is where you'll thrive Sometimes practicality can seem like the number one key. It can seem like that's exactly where we need to go. Sometimes it could seem a little bit delusional and insane to follow your passion, but the craziest people in the world are successful, you know? So in a way, Cancer, I'm definitely feeling for you guys. Creative Wonderment's really important. Follow your passion this month. Don't necessarily hop right onto the practical choice. Now, having a look here at this next card, we have here the card of acceptance. It says, I'm learning to accept the things I cannot change. So I definitely feel that if you've seen certain things in the past maybe not work for you, um, especially things that are outside of your power that you can't necessarily change. This is about taking the time to focus on becoming accepting of what you cannot change, but turning your attention and your focus to what it is you can change instead look at what you can make an impact with look at what you can do with your energy and really narrow in focus and lock in on that and of course you'll see more success there too now having a look here at the last thing to focus on message is coming through here for you with this card i'm getting the feeling here cancer if something kind of just hits you different this month maybe it's something a friend says to you something a family member or a lover says maybe you hear something online or you watch a youtube video and there's some powerful message that kind of resonates with you very well it sits with you pay very close attention focus on that message there could be something there that really correlates and resonates to your life that can help you in this month so do pay close attention uh attention excuse me to the messages that you're receiving because there could be something very powerful there that can help you out coming into august 2023 all right cancer all right baby let's go ahead and move forward though we're gonna hop on into your tarot all right actually let me go grab the tarot deck because i didn't grab it already so one second here we go. Let's go ahead and get on into your tarot and see what's going on here for your August 2023. What do we got showing up here for Cancer? Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Throughout August 2023, what information is showing up here, please, for our lovely crab gang? What's going on here, Cancer? Starting out here with the overall energy of your month, we start here with the Eight of Pentacles. Having a look here at your current energy, Queen of Cups, what you're dealing with here, Six of Wands, love that. Looking at the current outcome, Six of Pentacles, Cancer. Things are looking up is what I'm seeing for you. So Eight of Pentacles showing up here for you. This can be about your career. It could be about your finances. Uh, you could be working very hard here at this time. I see that with the current energy being the Queen of Cups, there is a certain level of satisfaction I feel that's coming in from all the hard work you're doing. When Cancers can keep busy and feel a sense of satisfactory of their hard work paying off, genuinely that's when Cancers can be happiest because we love to put the hard work in, but we want to put the hard work in and see the rewards. And I think those rewards are really coming through. Having a look at what you're dealing with here, being the Six of Wands, Six of Wands here represents that you're in a period of time where things are flowing perfectly, you're starting to see the fruits of your labor, you're seeing success, you're moving in a good direction. And looking at the current outcome here being the Six of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles here represents that right now you feel like you're in perfect harmony and perfect balance with something in your life. So this could be about feeling like you're in the perfect flow state with your career, um, especially if your career... Sorry about that cancer, my camera ended up freezing pre-Mercury shadow, so either way moving on forward guys uh i was saying here with the six of pens though like even if you work in career and your career is something that's like along the lines of more creative like maybe your own business person maybe you're an artist or something of that nature really feels to me like you're in perfect harmony with what you do so there's a good balance and a good flow coming in here but i'm also hearing as well cancer compensation is really coming through for your energy exchange remember what it is you do in everything is indeed an energy exchange so for example what i'm doing here right now doing a reading for you guys it is an exchange of energy so I definitely feel here like you're going to be rewarded for that. Not necessarily just along the terms of compensation, but it feels to me like there could be general uh, general rewards that may not come in the format of money or that type of uh, materialistic things. There could be spiritual rewards coming in here for some of you guys as well. Um, I am hearing that maybe you're completing a certain chapter in your 
spiritual journey, or there could be like a certain next step in your spiritual path that you guys are going to set foot on here coming into the month of August 2023. But guys, so far, definitely looking pretty dang good. Now, let's have a look here and see what's showing up in your challenge position. So what's showing up in the challenge here for Cancer? And we got here the Temperance. I think keeping it all together is a little bit of a challenge. Temperance card is about kind of being in perfect harmony with your emotions. As a Cancer, we can kind of go through the ups and downs of emotions pretty frequently because of how sensitive we naturally are. Uh, but I get the feeling here that one of the things you might be struggling with here, Cancer, is claiming this abundance, accepting this abundance versus having this feeling that maybe you're going to fail. That's what I'm picking up on intuitively. Yeah, five of wands showing up here, two of cups showing up here, and you got here the king of wands. It's like, do I continue to pursue my creative pursuits, my passion, the things in my life that I love? Do I continue to go for it? Or is this the time right now to resist it and kind of go towards more practical route or more practical path? Now, we touched base on this in the beginning with the creative wonderment card because the creative wonderment card here said follow your passion and i was mentioning in the beginning i think how some of you guys were feeling that maybe this is the time right now to go all out practical go with what seems safe go with what seems secure but in a way the universe was saying there was more of a reward right now if you did go towards what it is you have passion for so i think the biggest struggle here is pretty much choosing between am I going to choose something that seems safe and comfortable or am I really going to go after what I truly want and I think you're being called here this month to do so and I think many of you are especially with this energy we discussed if you guys do go after what it is you truly want there is success showing up there but there is still that struggle of like I don't know man there's something about that safety and that security and that practicality that seems like the easier choice. Uh, but remember, nothing worth fighting for, nothing worth, you know, really, really working hard for at the end of the day is ever truly easy. So cancer, don't go the easy way. You know, definitely feel free to put the work in. And I think you'll be quite surprised at where it goes. All right. All right, guys, moving on forward. What can you expect throughout the rest of August 2023 for cancer? And what do we got? We got here the four of wands and we have here the four of pentacles in reverse. Interesting. Getting out of your shell. I like it. Now, I don't have reversals almost ever in the monthly readings, but surprisingly, this card came out in reverse. Now, if it was four of pentacles upright, this would be representing that you feel stuck or you're keeping to yourself and you're staying in a security nest. But four of pentacles reversed here says you're getting out of your shell here, cancer. You're really moving out of your comfort zone. So you can expect to move out of your comfort zone here coming in, uh, throughout the rest of August. And with the four of wands coming into play here for you, I think that actually stepping out of your comfort zone creates higher levels of security because you're creating something new, but you're also creating a new form of security for yourself. So for example, Cancer, let's say you're choosing your passion this month. There's going to be stability and security that's going to start to manifest there once you see your passion really working out for you. I also feel like there's a lot of support showing up for Cancers, whether or not you see it. Tons of people in your life do support you. And I feel like if you were to lean on other people for support, they would have no issue doing so. So if you ever kind of find yourself in August, not feeling really, you know, what's the word I'm looking for here? Like not really feeling like you have the motivation to get to where you need to go. Don't be afraid to rely on good friends, good family members, people you know that'll be there for you because individuals want to give you your support. Four of Wands is also giving me the energy too of like your guides wanting to give you support here as well throughout this time, Cancer. So you are divinely supported as well as physically supported with other individuals in your life. Okay. Which is really, really good to see. All right, though, Cancer, coming on into the overall outcome for August 2023. What's it going to be here for Cancer? What's the overall outcome of their month? And what do we got? We got the strength card. Yeah, you know, I'm hearing adversary or ad adversity. <laughs> there you go. That's how you say it. Already with this pre-Mercury shadow, I'm already starting to have my stuttering come on up. But either way, Cancer, there is definitely going to be a lot of perseverance coming in in the face of adversity. I definitely feel like if it's a difficult time <clears throat> or if it's been a difficult time to really get to where you want to go, uh, this is going to be the time where you overcome that. Many of you here have the strength within you to face your fears. I think the biggest fear is taking the non-practical route. That is a big theme coming up here in your reading, right? Not going the practical route, going after what you want instead. That is scary because you can go after what you want and fail, but you also could go after what you want and succeed. In a way, there's always going to be practical and safe choices always around us. And who says you can't go there if you need to, if your passions don't really seem to work out here. But the one thing that you can miss, the opportunity window that can close is the opportunity of pursuing passions because sometimes the timing's got to be right. Uh, so Cancer, I feel like the time is right here. I say go for it, you know? And I think that this month it's going to show you 
that screw fear going for what you want can create my own level of security and going for what i want can create success you have to look at it and ask yourself you know what i can fail but how can i succeed what can i do really come up with a game plan and really take action all right cancer moving on forward what do we got in reference to the most important message that cancers need to hear coming into august 2023 what's going to be the most important message cancer sun moon rising venus throughout august 2023 Let's go ahead and see. First card out is going to be the Six of Cups. Next card is going to be the Seven of Swords. And lastly for you, the High Priestess. It's interesting with the Six of Cups because there was a past part of yourself that wanted every opportunity you have right in front of you. There was a past version of yourself, Cancer, that wanted every opportunity that lies in front of you today. And I feel like the Seven of Swords here is saying you would be doing a disservice to your past self by not going after what's in front of you. It's so clear that you have a good chance at success here, Cancer. And with the High Priestess, it's very clear here too that you're being intuitively guided to the next part in the next phase of your life. You know, whether or not this is about going towards a passionate career that's going to be wonderful for you, or this is about getting into a relationship with somebody that really could be the one for you, even if you've been hesitant to be open to relationships, or even if this is about your spiritual mission, you know, there's some sort of decision here, Cancer, where there's a safety and a safe decision, and there's a bit of a more passionate and exciting decision. And I think that the past version of you feels like you would be doing it a disservice by not taking all this opportunity that's right in front of you. Because I feel like if there's one thing really coming out of this reading for the month of August, it's that, Cancer, you have opportunity right in front of you, but you have to be willing to take it. Okay, so that's definitely the most important message showing up. And lastly, is there any advice coming in from the universe for cancers before we close off this reading? Ace of Swords shot out immediately. We also have here the Eight of Cups and we have here the Four of Swords. Cancer, I'm hearing that this is, how do I say this? The opportunity window or the time window, if you will, is closing. It's like either go for this now or leave it behind. That's what the universe wants to say here for you. Ace of Swords. This is the moment of truth. <laughs> you know, Cancer? Getting a little intense here at the ending of your reading. But I think that what the universe is trying to say is that it's a moment of opportunity. The window here is open. We also have, as well, the Lionsgate portal coming in as well. Very powerful time for manifesting in uh, actually a day or so. Uh, so with that being said here, Cancer, for you, this actually, the video being released might be released on Lionsgate today. So it might be the 8th of August today. So while you guys are watching this super powerful time uh, to manifest what it is you truly want. But the window of opportunity here is closing, Cancer. It's like either go for it now or take the safe route. Go for it now or take the safe path. Either way, you'll be okay. But you may be missing out on some really passionate times to create something wonderful in your life going forward. Are you interested right now in taking the safe path and living the next couple of years in that path? Or are you interested right now in building an empire? That's really the question here, Cancer. So what are you going to do with your time, with your energy, and with your investment? And are you ready for this or not? Okay, so take that if it resonates, guys, of course, leave it if it doesn't. But that is your reading here for August 2023. Quite a bit of an intense but yet powerful one. I think that this is going to be the month that opens up your eyes to the fact that blessings can truly happen and unfold in your life. And I think most importantly, this is going to be the month that shows you that passion truly, truly can take you somewhere if you're really willing to commit to it. So follow up on that passion cancer, whatever it may be for you, and keep yourself together. Don't get sucked into the practicality trap and the safety net. Allow yourself to know that you can create your own version of security in whatever it is you wish and desire to create and manifest in this world. Okay? All right, though, Team Cancer, sending out my love to you. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Have a wonderful and amazing rest of your August 2023, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Much love, and have yourselves a good one. Peace.